Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos about uh, bootstrap view and in this video we want to speak about the buttons and, and how you can work with that and that's what we're going to do today I will show you the basic about it how we can change the buy-in how we can trigger a click and how we can use it as a regular link and uh, let's beginning and before we beginning I really hope you want to stay here and subscribe this channel to support me if you don't know how to subscribe you can go in the right corner below and press the thing then you will help me and subscribe to the channel i really hope you want to to like this video and smash the comments if you have any questions and of course if you need this source code you can go in for my github profile everything you, you need to know it will be uh, staying in the description below i will link for my github information directly from this video that's it before we are starting and i really hope you want to enjoy this video so let's begin and create the first uh, basic buttons. The first button we want to create is just a basic button. So that's we can just call it button. And we want to class on it, mark and write on we say two. And the second button we want to create should be with the variant um, danger. And then we want with the succeeds. That's a two one one two button succeeds. No, it's a danger and I want to say succeeds. That's the two basic buttons and it's very very simple buttons. And you can see it we have three, the default one if you don't change any variant, and then we have the danger and we have a succeed. It's very nice buttons. Then we want to create uh, buttons with the click event. And for this, I'll just copy those three buttons here, down below, and I will uh, just add, uh, I'll just disable this one, so you can see how the button uh, will look like if it's a disable. And uh, then we want to make a click event here, click, and hello world. That's what we want here. And the second one here, it's just a regular button where we want to open something new. And in this, we want to open uh, Google. And because it's an external link, we want to say it should be the blank. And I want to rename this. It's a click event. And this one should go, go to google.com. And uh, this one should be disabled. So let's create the button here uh, the click event first and then this is a method so whoops and we will just say console lock hello world button trigger event working and let's go in for the browser and make this happening here and you can see we, we cannot click on it if you go up here you can see the the hand on everything but this is disabled so we will just reload here and uh, let's say if we're clicking on the hello world you can see here i can just clean it up again and click you can see the hello world button trigger it's working then we can go in for google so let's see about this open google it should be and now we open google so that's so it's the link event it's working the next we want to speak about is how we can resizing the buttons so i just copy those button again and below here so we don't need to type everything it's it's make it everything much faster and uh, i'll just call this for default button and then i don't need the variant anymore And then we can say a, a, a large one, a small one, sorry, the small one. And then we need the size for the large one. It's very nice to to do this. Small button and large button. And the size here, it's uh, it's, it's very nice to do. Uh, if you're working with the real bootstrap without any kind of Node.js implementation, then you know we have basically the same, but this is more organized in, in, 
Bootstrap View, so that's very nice. And if you al already uh, use View, so why not using the Bootstrap View? Uh, of course, you can implement the normal Bootstrap inside the View and working with everything uh, right out of the box, but you need to type so much more. So I don't see any reason to do to do this. So let's go back. You can see you have the default button, the small button, and the large button, and that's very cool. That's what we want. If you want want to look like a link, I will add it up here, and uh, because I think it's very nice to to manipulate it uh, up here, um, because you can just say the variant should be a link uh, button link, and then we are good to go with the link. So the next step we want to speak about should be uh, about we have speaking about the the button with the with the fill color, but in Bootstrap you can use the outline and it's look pretty nice if you need that in your design. It's of course it need to fit into your design, so, so so it's up to you to to evaluate about it's working or not. But of course I will uh, working with that now, so I'll just copy the 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 buttons from the top here. One more time, which is going down to the design here, and I was going up here and say, uh, Ryan, it should be outline. I'm not 100% sure that's working, but let's test it up. No, it's not working. We need more. We'll say outline primarily, and outline primarily. And we want to succeed, and we want the danger, and we want the warning. Outline primarily succeeds. I just forgot to do this, and danger and one. We don't want to search danger and one. Now you can see we have uh, a, a different outline buttons here, and when you're running the mouse over, it, it will be a fill button, and it will fading in, and it's looking very cool, and I really love that. So in, in some kind of designs, this will be very nice. Uh, so so why not use it if you if you need it? And then sometimes you need to make a, a fill of the the button. Let, let's say this uh, this one it should be. Um, filling the 100% of this one. That's uh, what we want to, to demonstrate now, because in some cases, when you make a pop-up, have you reading this uh, conditions of uh, the site terms, then you don't need, want a little bit accept button, you want the big one. And that's what I want to show you now. So let's go back for the editor, and we want to say HR here. And the first one I want to, I just copy the primary button here, danger succeeds. I just take one. And the first we want to build, it's a, we want to say block. And uh, succeeds block button. That's what we want to do now. And no margin. We don't need that. And it will fill 100% of the, the container. So I will show you in the two, in, in other way how you can minimize this. So if you use a row and the B column, we want to work with this and put it inside. And I'll just say the danger and the warning. Now ah, the primary, I think that's fine. Primary and danger. And that's what we want to do here and go back. And uh, we have a little design issue here. And go back here. And now you can see we have the 100% of the, the whole container, but because we have making the, the column, we have two columns here, then it will be 100% of the column. And that's what the, the block is doing. And if you remember, and you have seen some other other videos where we have using on the round, uh, round corners, then you can use more round corners here in 
in the bottom way too and you can make a more uh, a flat design with using the square so let's demonstrate how you can use this I just copy the outlines up here I think that's fine for me and uh, then we can play with that so let's copy the outline here and the uh, outline you can just say the pill and I'll just use a normal one primarily button primarily and outline succeeds and uh, then we need to build out the square I, I just fill out the square now square and we do, do it in the, in the same way here uh, and we just say danger square danger and we just say pill and here we just say pill primal whoops not that and if we're going back for the browser it should be a very nice one yeah you can see this one is should it's normally using for uh, pagination so you can use the next and back and previous and something like that and then one two three four five and this is a more flat design you can see all the buttons here is having a little round corner but in the flat design it's a, a shaped uh, in, in in the square so it's having a hard uh, corners and if you use the pill you have a much more soft uh, round corners and it is up to you and how the design is fitting but this is the how you can play with a lot of buttons and how you can work with the different uh, styles of, of buttons for your website and you can combine them in, in tons of ways and of course you can override them if you need a, a special color for the exact button then you can just type some CSS and then work with that thank you so much to have you today and I really hope you enjoy and I really hope you're having some fun with me um, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and going for the right corner below and pressing the ding if you don't know how to subscribe and remember to hit the like button and then you'll make me really happy and uh, share with your friends so your friends know how you can work with the with the bootstrap view buttons and of course if you have any questions please make the comments below and all the source code will be to found on my github profile you can find the links down is below in the description and I think that's from all from me today and uh, thank you to have you and uh, hope to see you next time bye